Greetings, my esteemed audience. A sensitive poet here checking in from a beautiful Hyperborea. I'm checking in with a valuable insight. I hope it will be valuable to many of you at least. So, as you see in the title of the video, how to stop worrying about the future. Now, perhaps many of you, you've already read Demigod Mentality, so this teaching will be familiar to you, but I will say it again and that is that your thoughts shape reality i can't stress this enough this will be i will repeat this many times because it is a a very powerful insight that you will um the sooner you understand it the better so you've probably heard many wise men have said the following as well and that is that your problems are often bigger in your mind than they actually are when you encounter them and if you place your thoughts if you believe that a problem will be bigger, it will become bigger as well. So if you want to reduce the size of your problems, don't give them so much of your uh, mental attention, simply put. So another example from Demigod Mentality, I share in the book a little story from the military service. We had to rappel down a cliff. Very scary stuff indeed. Now, since we were all exhausted and it took time for each, um, each soldier to rappel down, we had some time to wait. So I sit down, of course, as did everyone else, fell asleep for a little while and then they call my name, say, it's your turn and I don't have the time to be worried at all because I just woken up from my brief slumber. So I go to the station and I start the descent. Now, of course, it was um, yeah quite scary. Now, of course, there wasn't any, any danger of um, uh, any true danger because all of the safety mechanisms, they were in place, but uh, there was still the the, the fear of shame should I do something silly upon my descent down because you know all the cool officers they were watching and everything like that and the rest of the platoon uh, or most of the platoon at least they were watching uh, but at least the main point the main teaching I wanted to share there is that I'm so fortunate in that I fell asleep before because that meant I didn't have so many minutes beforehand to worry about it because I, if I had worried about the descent it would have been a lot worse than I would have been paralyzed with fear maybe who knows it was very good that i managed to sleep so that is one teaching you can have in mind and the the lesson here is that if you don't think about it it will be easier so if you have a big problem ahead of you the more you worry about it the bigger that if you call it a demon you have a big demon in front of you the the more afraid you are of the demon the more powerful it gets so deprive it of its power by simply don't by simply not worrying too much about it at all now this is absolutely not to say that there is anything wrong with fear. Fear is good and normal because you can use it as motivation and it's you know a sign of intelligence that you're afraid as well because if you aren't afraid that means you um yeah you simply don't know what you're up against especially when it comes to uh, certain things. So if you live in Gotham City it's normal to be a bit afraid but that fear will leave you, will lend you uh, some motivation to better deal with the situation so for example if you live in Gotham City you feel a bit uneasy then it's good to use that fear to put you into a state of being a bit more alert and you know train MMA or anything like that and this also leads me to a second teaching I also share in the rune chapter of the Amigod mentality and that is in regard to the rune Perthro, which is the rune of the Vird, of fate, of uh, gaming as well actually. So you can view the teaching as a dice and you throw the dice and you see okay which side does it show me, does it show a particular side that means one path you will be or a challenge or an issue you will be presented with. And then you have from one to six something happens and now the main teaching here is that there are things that are always good to have no matter what side the the dice shows you uh, so you roll a certain number that indicates a certain challenge a certain problem a certain path in front of you then there are things you can prepare for all of these outcomes so no matter what happens it's always good to be healthy it's always good to be socially skilled it's always good to be strong it's always good to be knowledgeable everything like that so for example as you know i always have a lot of different projects going on i always need my mind to be as sharp as possible so i know that whichever side the dice 
shows me I need to be as sharp as possible. How can I ensure that? Yes, by sleeping well. So it doesn't matter if I have, you know, if I want to train a hard gym session or if I need to write something or even make a video or a podcast or something like that or if I have to do some business stuff that requires my, my mental attention, then I know that I need to sleep as good as possible. If I don't sleep then I will not be able to handle any of these issues that might um, arise in the morning. So I know that no matter what life throws at me I need to sleep well. Then I have, you know, it doesn't matter which side the, the dice shows me. I will be able to handle it anyway. So that is one thing you can bear with you, the teaching of the rune of Perithro, that no matter which path you need to take, the better equipped you are in every aspect we view life in a holistic manner so whatever challenge comes to you you will be able to deal with it because you have prepared in in every way uh, same thing when it comes to whatever it might be really so if you are good if you're trained in one thing you probably will be good in another way as well so for example I sleep well and then it doesn't matter if I have a physical challenge ahead of me or a mental challenge or whatever it might be I'm fully ready to take on the challenge so anyway, long story short, do sleep, optimize your sleep. Now to respond then to the question in the title, how to stop worrying about the future. Yes, the best way is to be too busy to be able to worry. So if you are too busy optimizing your everything in the now, then you won't have the time to worry about the future. So if you are afraid of illness later on in life, yeah, do what you can now to reduce the risk of sickness later, so do a 24 hour fast. Then you will magically transport your problems in the future, where they are a lot bigger, to the now, where they are a lot smaller. So for example, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of a lot of different things. I will admit to you, my dear supporters and subscribers and viewers, I'm afraid of a lot of things. Completely normal for me to be afraid of a lot of things about the future. But I'm also too busy optimizing my, my own power and presence in the now to be able to, to even have the energy to focus a lot on the future. So I've taken all of these troubles in the future, I'm bringing them to the present and now I can deal with them. So no matter what it is, I work tirelessly in the now, so I'm planning what do I do tomorrow to make myself more robust for the future, so I don't sit around idly worrying about Will Sweden collapse in 20 years? Okay, what can I do now? Yes, I can work metapolitically. I can try to help as much as possible shifting the Overton window so we can attain regime change. I can network with like-minded individuals. I can be as robust and healthy myself as possible. Then I will be better equipped dealing with the future. So the mental technique, the magical technique here you need to do is you take your problems from the future, you bring them to the present and say, okay, how can I deal with this? right now. So for example, if you are an 18 year old guy and you look at blackpilling content on the internet about women etc and you worry that perhaps I will never get a wife, perhaps I will never get a girlfriend, anything like that, take that problem that is in the future because you don't need a girlfriend now when you're 18, you need to get as jacked as possible in the gym. So you take that problem from the future, bring it back to the present and ask yourself what can I do tomorrow that will enable me to maybe find a wife in 10 years? Just to take an example. Yes, then you go to the gym, get as jacked as possible. This is usually the, the teaching at hand because when you understand the holistic nature of the gym it all makes sense. And also if you do feel worried about stuff, do try to go to the gym, squat heavy, because when you're squatting heavy you don't have any problems in the future because you're too busy trying to survive in the now. So go and spar some MMA, some Thai boxing, train hard in the gym, do some heavy squats because again when you're under the bar you don't have the energy or time or capacity to worry about anything else anything else than not being crushed by the bar. So it's a very easy way for you to simply banish all of the demons of uncertainty and everything like that. So if you squat heavy in the gym, most of your problems will evaporate. So that was the teaching for the day. Main point, be too busy. Be too busy optimizing yourself in the present to worry too much about the future. And again, all of your problems, they are most likely bigger in your imagination and they gain strength, that demon, if you will, it gains strength when you yield your energy to it. So focus on something positive, focus on the greatness of my teachings and uh, or something else positive and then you will be better for it. 
so hopefully that was helpful to you and uh, yeah do check out all the links in the description box below xxo boom